I want you to ask three questions to Mesut. What, what would you like me to, to ask him? Any three questions. Any three questions to Mesut Ozil. I should also say he said in the description he wants to talk about the past, the present, and the future. So it seems like nothing's off topic. Where did it all go wrong at Arsenal? Where, yep. where does he think it all went wrong at Arsenal? I like the he, yep. It um, went wrong. Does he understand why people would question his commitment to the team when he was playing? Mm-hmm. Good. Commitment. And then one more. And does he believe that he could come into this Arsenal side and make a difference? That's very good. Do you think he could? I think he could, you know. You look at some of the... Not so much... If, you, if we were to do this sort of pre the last five games, you know, because Arsenal have been a lot better. They lacked that... Um, just creativity, it felt like. It just there was, you know, yeah, no goals. I don't, I don't think Arsenal necessarily... Yeah, they did definitely lose... They, they lost... Oh, sorry. They lacked creativity prior to the last four or five games, right? So the other question was they also lacked commitment and intent and, you know, like the, the, the I suppose the, the aggressive nature of the game, they lacked um, commitment, right? Mm. So of those things that I've just said, are there not quite a num- high number of those, those, those words that I just used that would be questionable about Mesut Ozil or what people have questioned mm. in his character and his makeup over the years? Yeah. Commitment, you know, desire, um, you know, I suppose uh, aggressiveness. He doesn't have that. Yeah. Commitment to the side, you know, his aggressiveness on the pitch. Where, where, so the, your first question here, where does he think it all went wrong at Arsenal? Where do you think? Was it when he signed his new contract? Was it midway through too, Emery's reign? I, I Was think it, it's too easy to, to point your finger at when he signed a new contract and he's kind of like stopped playing. I don't think Mesut Ozil changed one bit no. when, he, when he signed his contract. I, I think it was exactly the same Mesut Ozil. I think the, the, the signing of the contract, listen, I don't begrudge Mesut Ozil one, for one second about signing a new contract. That's Arsenal's fault. Mm. That's the people who were at Arsenal in charge of Arsenal that signed Mesut Ozil on that contract. It's very easy afterwards when things don't go well to point the finger and go, he's on 250 grand a week and it's his fault. And, and it's a joke that he's on that much money and, and what has he delivered? It's too easy to say that, right? Because nobody held a gun to his head and said, you have to sign this contract worth 250 grand. The club have to no. agree. The club also believed that he was worth that. He was that, had that much value. I think it was a knee-jerk reaction, the fact they lost Sanchez. Sanchez said, no, nah, I'm not signing. And walk, basically, was saying, you have to sell me. Otherwise, I'm walking out in the season for free. So they did. Mm-hmm. They sold him. And what a, what a dodge of a bullet that was, right? So... What could have happened was they could have had two players on that mm. sort of wage still at the club and probably not playing. Could you and Aubameyang wouldn't have been there either because obviously the money raised through Sanchez, you know, went That's that. right. Absolutely. So where would Arsenal fans, how do Arsenal fans feel about it? They're much happier where they are right now with the fact that, mm. that Sanchez left and they've got Aubameyang. Okay. Is history repeating, repeating itself with Aubameyang? I don't think Settle so. down, settle down. No, but I don't think it will. I don't think it <laughs> no. will. Aubameyang's a different type of player. And there's no doubt for me that, that you know, he's already shown. He started scoring again. He, he is committed. His work rate, I don't think, is necessarily questioned. Yeah, on the odd occasion, you could say, did he work hard enough today? He wasn't on his game. But that goes with every single player. But in general, I, I, I think, you know, I think he's, a, he's a top, top class striker and, a top, and he's a top player. Um. Mesut Ozil, I think, I think the mentality, the idea of the way they want to play football has evolved and gone beyond Mesut Ozil at the club. And, and the reason I say that is so f- the very basis of how uh, Arteta wants to play, Emery wanted to play, high, high intensity, closing teams down from the front, which you have to do, any team has to do these days, even the lowest teams in the league have to work together and have to close down and you can't have any passengers. Yep. And too often, Mesut or the way he plays his game is a passenger. He's not 
his work rate is not enough. And I don't think, and then what actually happened was maybe the fact that he was criticized for not contributing in that aspect of his game, the other aspect of his game then suffered. And he was no longer, not only was he not contributing in, 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 in closing the opposition down and trying to win the ball back, but working as a team, but then the creative side of the game went because mm. he wasn't contributing on that aspect anymore. So therefore you're carrying a player. And with Mikel Arteta, when he first went to the club, I think, I mean, my understanding is that Mesut Ozil started from scratch again. Mm. And he had an opportunity to prove his worth and his value to the side. And Mesut Ozil, I think Mikel Arteta on, on observation and training saw that it wasn't a player that was going to be able to play at the level that he wanted to play at in terms of work rate, commitment to the side, helping back out in defense, keeping in shape, sticking with a player if he needed to in defense, you know, playing his part. Mm. So therefore he finds himself on the other again. So what do you do? Do you start to go, well, it can't be the manager's fault. Uh, sorry. It can't be the player's fault. It's the managers. Well, they've had, they've had three managers. Yeah. And, and Arsene Wenger was the only one that stuck with him. And that was possibly even detrimental to Arsene Wenger in the end. Because Mesut Ozil let Definitely. Arsene Wenger down on, 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 on many occasions as well. <laughs>